Let's do this sound. So Jeremy Scahill uh, was on the, what is it, the five? What is it called? It's called The Cycle. The Cycle. And Jeremy Scahill is on, and um, I confess I did not see it. I've only seen the clip. I didn't see what pre- preceded this clip. But um, Torre, who, you know, nice guy. Um, I think we've auditioned for stuff in the past together. And um, he's also a very big fan of President Obama. And my understanding is he's not uh, pro-killing people, but he is pro-drones, something to that effect. I can't remember what the, what the hubbub was about. But he wanted to um, take the position with Jeremy Scahill that, um, or wanted to ask Jeremy Scahill, you know, what, what would you do if you were president? Which, in my mind, uh, Jeremy Scahill is under no obligation to uh, provide the answer to that. Uh, in that instance, I would say, you know what, I'm not responsible um, for this, that does not mean that because I, who is not president, can't come up with something that um, is uh, functions within the constitutional framework, that there isn't something that functions in the constitutional framework. But Jeremy Scahill is a little more adept at, um, at, at this than I am, and, and here is the exchange. I'm curious, Jeremy, as to how you think we should be doing this. If you were the commander in chief in charge and entrusted with keeping Americans safe and your legacy is on the line and all those sort of things, um, how do you prosecute this war? You can't say no violence at all, no, no warfare at all. We have to do something to stop the many people who you concede are trying to hurt us every single day. So what is the long term and short term strategy for keeping us safe? Right. I mean, I, I believe that we, uh, like all nations, around the world have a right to self-defense. And I think that, you know, the, the, the president in his speech uh, made an analogy when he was, ta- when he was defending the killing of, of American citizen Anwar al He likened al to a sniper pointing his weapon at a crowd of innocent civilians mm-hmm. and implied that if the United States didn't take him out, that there was going to be a, a terrorist attack against the United States. I haven't seen any, I've seen a lot of evidence to suggest that Anwar al was a reprehensible individual. And there's a lot of smoke around him regarding the underwear bomber and, and other totally uh, you know, nefarious bad people. Um, but I think that the president should have presented evidence that al was in fact an operational member. And the fact is they that- They did the, present evidence, Jeremy. You know that in a, in a Yemeni court. No, what, what was the evidence, Ture? Well, I mean, I don't have it here in front of me, but he was convicted in a Yemeni court. In, he was convicted yes, in a Yemeni court. So, would you want to be prosecuted in a Yemeni court? This is a country that set up a tribunal to prosecute journalists for crimes against the dictator. If you're holding up the Yemeni justice system as a place where you think an American citizen is going to get a fair trial, then I would invite you to go to Yemen and start jaywalking and see what kind of treatment mm-hmm. you're going to get in those courts. Because you can't have it both ways, man. If you want to act like Yemen's courts are legitimate, you better act like they're legitimate when they put political prisoners in there or they put people in there for crimes against a dictatorship. So don't, don't come at me with something about a Yemeni court. This was an American citizen who should have had access to due process before he was sentenced to death by the constitutional law professor president. And it's funny because when you look at that okay, issue... Pause it. Now, uh, I don't know what happens there. Basically, Torre just goes away. <laughs> um, and um, uh, our, is, I think is uh, Ari Melber steps in because, um, you know, the, the weird thing is that um, I think Torre got really offended because he, one thing I know about this guy, never jaywalks. Never, ever jaywalks. Uh, so it goes on, and um, this, this is, uh, I got to say, the Scahill gets in one more sort of like uh, knock on this continue. Even in the courts, we've seen Justice Scalia, who many people think of as conservative, also talk about the fact that you can't have it both ways. Americans have to have some process before they're denied liberty. Definitely an issue that scrambled some political alliances. Thank you for sharing a little bit about your film with us, Jeremy. Thank you. It's like the Brady Bunch here. <laughs> right. <laughs> what does that make you? That are you are you daddy? I'm the, I'm the unwelcome visitor. No, you're welcome. You're always welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome and, right, and thanks guys. for sharing that with us. Yeah, now I got... Uh, wow. Let's see. That was really awkward. He just called their show a sitcom.